afternoon everyone it's lunch time and it's had it has been a while since i did my last lunch bag surprise so here we go again our lunch bag surprise here's my lunch bag five ringgit 90 cents at daiso um is is it aluminium no it's ah something like that it's a bag that's supposed to keep your meal warm but inside of the bag itself, we have layers of plastic bag. Thank you, wifey, because she's concerned that I might spill it in my car or spill it in my office. So she prepared it in multiple layers of reusable plastic bag. So here we go. Let's share with you what do I have in my lunch bag today. Firstly, First container, rice and I think it's tomato rice, nasi tomato, tomato rice. So we cook the rice in tomato puree. So it became tomato rice and healthy raw lettuce <laughs> or in Malaysia we call them down salad right ironic right you, we call them down salad because we use lettuce in salad so we call them down salad actually is salad oh so this is oh I know what this is <laughs> Correction, this is not nasi tomato, this is nasi gaul, mixed rice, it's a banja, banjanis or banjaris, banjarian, banjarian uh, dish, okay, so they cook the rice in tomato puree, that's right, but then the gravy itself is made out of uh, naturally fried chicken with um, this sauce is kind of a, I will share with you the recipe of the gravy right here okay that's the uh, not not to say recipe but what is contained in the gravy itself okay so uh, in part of the chicken a side of the chicken we also have tomato slices onion slices chili red chilies and <clears throat> cucumbers yeah so how does it taste of course because I told you that um, I told you that uh, <coughs> let me show you the dish and not myself okay <coughs> let me shift all these salads to the side <coughs> and but of course now taste of the rice, since it's cooked in tomato, it will be sou soury, salty, taste like the tomato, okay? And as for the gravy, hmm, yeah, soury, sweet, fatty, from the chicken stock and also you can taste because since you sliced the tomato so the sourness came from the tomatoes and yeah the rice is a bit dry so that is that is why it is called nasi gao or mixed size you have to mix everything to make it good so here we go okay Okay, we're gonna leave the gonna leave the chicken alone but the gravy gonna put it in here we go let's make it proper okay this should be named nasi gao as it is it is named nasi gao so all of these gravies and all of these veggies should stay inside except for the lettuce there you go <coughs> I just leave some tomato and uh, chilies later for dessert. <laughs> so, 
Excuse me. You can see the chicken part, the drumstick. Okay. The chicken is prepared. It is uh, fried, but without any special herbs, because there's no use of putting any herbs, since you are going to uh, soak it. Uh, if everything, you know, the chicken, you have, you you will soak it in the gravy. So if if you go all the way to fry it with all the herbs, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Now it's good. When you mix all of the gravy and the veggies, except for the lettuce, it is wonderful. It takes all the way, it, it takes away the boredom of the dry rice, the tomato rice. Mm. Mm. And you feel, if you feel that this, the, the gravy is too much, then you can munch on the lettuce. Mm. All right. So, mm, try to say this is a very healthy dish for a lunch and Banjarian, they are a, a, an ethnic in an ethnic in Indonesia. Like myself, I'm a Javanese. My wife is a Banjarian. So my son should be what? Banjawa. <laughs> so, okay, there you are, guys. Nasi Gao. If you have the chance, and also I heard that they sell it online too. Just Google Nasi Gao right here. Right? So, if you got one, enjoy. And I hope that you will take care of yourself. Stay safe. Stay safe, Malaysia and all the world. Ciao. Bon appetit.